Hi and welcome to Top Tips Tuesday. Jeff here from GCD Property. Uh, so this week's tip is for those property investors looking for a higher than average uh, rental yield. So what is a, a rental yield? The yield is the return on the investment in the property and related to the cash flow. So the higher the yield, the better income, the better the cash flow from the property. Um, so we're looking at these more higher income type properties for investors looking for a better uh, income or return on their investment. And there's some new strategies uh, that have really helped property investors achieve that. So the rental yield, the average yield on the average house in the uh, southeast Queensland property market where we're currently in is around about the 4% for an average house in the average suburb. Uh, these types of accommodation can provide you know, 6 to 8% sort of rental yield, so much stronger than a home. There is a real need for these type of high density properties as well. Uh, you know, with the changing demographics, a lot of people are on their own, single people uh, come out of relationships or never got uh, married and on their own and they can't afford a house one income, so this more affordable housing is, is really suitable. There is a real crisis in the housing industry at, in South East Queensland at the moment, a real shortage of uh, rental accommodation. If you speak to a property manager or, or tenants trying to find property, uh, there is a real issue around that. So uh, the governments are really encouraging this high density uh, living to cater for those tenants looking for those more affordable uh, rental income properties. And the benefit is for investors, we're getting a much better return on our investment. So today's video is just a quick explainer on a couple of these types of uh, op high occupancy type options. Uh, so many will be uh, familiar with the dual occupancy type concept. So this is on one uh, title, one block of land, and you have two rental income sources. Uh, so you generally have a smaller residence on one side, so that might be a one or two bedroom uh, unit, uh, self fully self-contained, uh, its own uh, car accommodation, and on the other side of the building, you would have a three or four bedroom uh, unit residence as well. So they each have their own entranceways, uh, their own uh, car accommodation, and their own backyard space as well. So it works really well. So you've got two rental incomes, one set of outgoing. So the yields on these are much stronger. Uh, these are limited to, currently we can only build them in the Logan and Ipswich corridors. So uh, that's where they can be built. Uh, there's another new concept, which I personally uh, really like, known as rooming accommodation. Uh, so we know, we've heard a bit about the shared accommodation where several residents are living in one house or the old flatmate type shared type arrangement that can work very well, but you can also have you know, consequences with people sharing uh, the common areas as well. So the difference with this rooming accommodation is that pretty much all the units are self-contained. So this is where we build uh, one dwelling under one roof line, but we can create four or five individual units. And the benefit with this is they have their own little kitchens, own bathrooms, own bedrooms, so completely self-reliant. Uh, um, and also generally on these types of accommodation, there'll be a common area and they can have a communal kitchen or dining area if they want to sort of mix and have a bit of social uh, communication. But if they choose to be on their own, they don't. Uh, they can be totally independent. They have their own little uh, backyard fresco area as well. So very nice concept, great, very safe, very secure for those uh, that are concerned about that. And it's very easy to manage because they each have their own individual space as well. So it's a very new concept. Um, and we can build these in most parts of the greater Brisbane uh, you know, region. So I think it's going to become a, a much more popular sort of strategy for those property investors looking for those high yields. And of course, the benefit of the high yield is that allows us to pay the debt on the property off much, much quicker, or if we're using the property for passive income, obviously give us a higher passive uh, income. So that's quickly explained the two different types or a couple of different type options in terms of higher income. If this sort of strategy appeals to you and you'd like to know a bit more information about exactly how it works and all the details, uh, please reach out and contact me and I'm happy to provide with you all that information. So I hope that's helped uh, and enjoy the rest of your week and see you next Tuesday. Thanks.